When you arrive at the Cochrane Library, you'll want to select the Advanced Search option, which is in the top right hand corner. Now, let's imagine I want to find papers on cognitive behavioural therapy and its effect for people with anxiety. I'll start by putting the term cognitive behavioural therapy into my top box. I'm then able to add a second box where I'll type anxiety. Note that I have the option to use the drop downs to the left hand side of the search boxes to determine how deeply I'm searching the papers. But we're going to leave it with its default for now. And so we'll hit run search. As we can see this has generated 135 Cochrane reviews and I'm going to limit us down to maybe the last two, two or so years. We now have just 19 Cochrane reviews, although you'll see the number in the tab above our records has actually remained the same. It's worth remembering as well that in Cochrane the results are split into different tabs. So by default you'll see the Cochrane Reviews tab, but if you want to look at the trial register, also known as Central, you can click on the tab for trials. When looking at the reviews, should you open any of them up, you should find an option in the top right hand corner to download the PDF. This will differ from trials as these will normally be ongoing or at least just records of research that was at one point ongoing and so there won't be a direct link to a finished paper but you may be able to find more information by looking up the author. If we come back to the advanced search we'll now try and incorporate mesh terms into our strategy. To do this we click on the mesh terms tab and we'll type in cognitive behavioural therapy. When we see that's appeared we can simply add this to our search manager. Now our search manager allows us to view line by line a search and set it up with as many different lines as we need. You'll find that each line gives you an idea of how many results are coming up as a consequence, so our top line has 10,258 results. If we now want to add our cognitive behavioural therapy term in, we'll click on the S drop down and key in exactly as we did earlier our cognitive behavioural therapy term. Now to combine these two lines, line 1 and line 2, we'll type into the third box hash 1 or hash 2 and either hit enter on our keyboard or click the continue button and we then get a live update to the number of records that we are retrieving. We'll do the same with anxiety, but this time we'll use the mesh drop down button to look up the mesh term so we're not navigating away from the search manager. And again we follow the exact same steps as we did with our first set of terms and then we will combine together the mesh term for anxiety and the free text term by typing hash 4 or hash 5. Finally, we'll combine our two groups of terms by typing hash 3 and hash 6. And as we can see, that gives us 7,861 results. If I click on that number, I'll then be taken to the full list of results. So for comparison's sake, I'll add the same date range that I did previously, or perhaps we'll say just the last two years. And there we are, we have 21 reviews now where previously we'd had 19. And of course, we still have plenty of trials, should we want to go through all of those.